The Longhorns with the first possession of the game and a look at their starting five. Matt Coleman, the freshman at the point. He's a big key for them. And Kerwin Roach with the ball. He's playing some really good basketball right now. Jace Febris open for three. And down with the nine. Overall, the shooting percentages are quite credible for a guy who's got the ball in his hands as much as he does. Follow with 10, no good for Kadeem Latin. Back comes Texas, but the Horns turn it over, and Young will get an assist on the bucket by Brady Manning. Well, you know that Texas wants to get the ball up court quickly. This is not a great shooting Longhorn team, so they want to get out in transition and turn defense into offense, but you can't turn the ball over and give up a turnover for a touchdown. And it's got a chance to be a fast game. Oklahoma plays with about as much pace as anybody in the country. Roach with a wing free. The more Texas moves the basketball and moves themselves, they will give this Oklahoma defense a chance to break down with all the switches. 15-foot jumper not there. Nice tip back out, though, by Richard Odoms. Manick, who's a terrific shooter, misses the three. And they don't all show up as block shots, but he'll alter at least as many as he blocks. Such a presence and doing a great job of staying on the floor and leaving the floor second so he doesn't pick up a foul. And an easy call there. Push off with the left arm on Kerman Roach. Well, Kerman Roach made one mistake there. He didn't move the ball before he attacked. He uses with his ball fakes, up fakes, really gets defenders off balance like that. Ositkowski with a shot fake and then a look away pass fake. But he couldn't get it to the rim. That's where he's got to go yeah. strong. Young, what a feed to Odoms. About a 60-foot pass for the bucket. Rupert decision by Dylan Osetkowski. When he got the ball to the, to the rim, he's got to go up strong and get fouled or score or both. So how about Young in the early going, Jay? He's got five points, and he's assisted on the other two baskets for Oklahoma. In and out for Bum. The tissue from Steph Curry, because they're they're almost clones on the offensive end. The one place, though, where, where Trey Young has to get better, he is not a good defender. I know this. We're not going to have a chance to compare Young's junior numbers to Curry's junior numbers, because Young will be earning a living by then. Let's get more from Maria. Help as he picked up his dribble. Jericho Sims into the game now for Texas. Guy with tremendous athleticism. A freshman who they've got some really high hopes for. Davis can't get away from his defender, James. Very little cutting right now for Texas. And a deep three. Won the gold. Turned over by the Longhorns. Young, another long pass. And another slam. This time it's Odoms. Well, the outlet pass was made by Mo Bamba trying to save the ball under his own basket. And you are better off letting that go out of bounds where you can play five on five. He did it by going right into the chest of Mo Bamba and knocking him back to where he couldn't jump up and block that shot. Really good job by Jamani McNeese. Who's up to a dozen points off the bench already. Roach lobs it oh. up for Bamba, the catch, and the finish. How about family releasing a statement today saying that Jones is now being treated in Houston at Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. And the family has said, quote, that Andrew has made some positive strides and a ton of well-wishers both here in Austin and really throughout the Big 12, to paraphrase. A six-point lead for Oklahoma on the road here in Austin. Manic an open look for a three, a little bit strong. And here come Roach and the Longhorns. Well, you have to be careful with that. If you're gonna if you're gonna double off of Manic, he's a terrific pick and pop player. That's what he does best. Shooting well over 40% from beyond the arc. A whistle away from the play, and it's going against Texas. The average is close to six rebounds a game overall. A little 2-3 zone for the last few possessions for Oklahoma. Ty Lazen to be into the game for the Sooners. A junior from Glencoe, Oklahoma, number 14. Open corner look, Davis. And how about... I feel pretty good about myself, but I got some stuff I got to clean up at the half. Yeah, all right, we'll hear more about from these guys in the halftime report coming up soon, Dan. All right, Maria, thank you. Young misses the three. The ball is knocked out of bounds, but it'll stay with the Longhorns. Trey Young made his first two shots tonight. He has now missed seven in a row, but he does have nine assists. The biggest reason. And Texas is down by only three. Well, that's the sixth three-point field goal by Texas, a team that has not been considered a good shooting team, but the three-point line keeping them in it right now. And that's got them on their feet, and here's a steal by Roach. Well, Richard Odom's last two plays has taken Dylan Osetkowski off the dribble. And he's been allowed to get to that left hand. That's what he does best. He is not a shooter. He's a driver. 
Roach the kick. Ositkowski driving left hand and he draws the foul. Second and a half. I think whoever Trey Young is guarding needs to set a screen on the ball, see if they can get a, a switch. They're going into Bamba in the first possession. Jump hook, yes. Oh, Bamba is just getting better and better. He's starting to play lower in the post. Early in the season, he was easy to knock off his position because he wasn't down low and strong. And Oklahoma nearly a turnover. It winds up with Young, and he knocks down his first shot of the second half. Through the net, and it does not take much to get this young man started. He is a big-time scorer. And we mentioned in the first half how lethal he's been in the second half of games in conference play, averaging better than 21 points in the second half. More than anybody else in the league is averaging. Fabris with a young on him. Coleman can't get the shot off. Roach will. And young. But Jaron Jackson I have is the, the fifth best American prospect in college. And you can see Trey Young, Mo Bamba, three and four. Another turnover for Texas. Young misses the three. Offensive rebound, Odoms. Great feed off to James. In this game, 67% in the second half. Although Oklahoma's gone three of 15 from three. They're just getting so many layups in transition. Points off turnovers, second chance points, fast break points. It has all been in... Oklahoma's face right by Young but missed the layup Young with five points in the first half seven in the second half This is that deep three that was from 32 feet Roach what a drive That was pretty slick boy Dan isn't it amazing what a couple of stops will do And now all of a sudden some game pressure back on Oklahoma And the crowd back in the game Whoa. A travel. Young trying to deny Roach. So Coleman will miss the slam. And look at the speed by Young. Lon Kruger says, don't let anybody tell you this kid isn't quick. And we corner three. That's a big time play by Matt Coleman. And they're saying he had a foot on the line. So it's a long two for Coleman. Four point lead, Oklahoma. Young well off another bad one Roach in transition and he, Yeah, the officials see that but they don't see a foul across the face of a shooter That's hard to imagine Roach by the way. He's playing well He's guarding young and he's also five for seven a dozen points. And he's had three 20-point games his last five games There's the first block of the night for Bamba And then a drive to the right. That's a great move by Christian James the last Texas foul, by the way, was on Roach, his third. Roach driving, floater. And rarely comes out of the game. Bamba. Lots of time. Roach for three. And that'll start the break, and a great play by Coleman to deflect that pass. Numbers. Coleman driving, gets it to go. Bounce for Texas. Oklahoma's done a great job of cleaning up their defensive board. Young got by Coleman easily, but he missed the floater. Roach gets a look at a three. Huge bucket. Meanwhile here, good one between Oklahoma and Texas. The Sooners trying to move into a three-way tie for top spot of the Big 12 with Texas Tech and Kansas if they can get a win here tonight. Bomba foul. That was a set called three up where they're taking the three-man, Kerman Roach, and setting a screen. He wants his team attacking right now on offense. Well, Maria, it's really amazing, I think, that Texas is in striking distance in this game. They've been outscored in the paint 48-20, to 20, outscored off turnovers 18-8. to 8. A foul on James gives it back to the Longhorns. Hit him right in the hit him right in the neck. Right. Like, what's the difference between that and what happened with Osetkowski in the first half? And the answer is nothing. They didn't even look, and that's why that rule is so messed up. Young called for the foul again because it was called before the shot. 
the alleged goaltending is irrelevant. And at the line is Roach, who has done a lot of work at both ends of the court. His primary job tonight was to try to contain Trey Young. He's also been a big asset at the offensive end. Well, he's been very good, especially of late. Really matured into a fine player. Kerwin, Kerwin Roach is one of the best defenders in the country. Tied at 66. Young off a screen. Corner three. And it's Texas ball. Absolutely magnificent in this second half. On both ends of the floor. Wow. A step back, somewhat fadeaway. Young knocks it away. A good play by Trey Young. Just stayed in front. That was a really good play by Young. Let's see if he tries to drive, get to the basket, find somebody. That's where he's had his most success in this game. Odoms tried to dump it down to Manic, and the Sooners turn it over again. Dan, that's why you want to get the ball out of the hands of Trey Young. Where his teammates are more likely to turn it over when they're trying to make an individual play. One, they haven't had a ton of experience doing it this year because Trey Young has the ball in his hands all the time. Driving and finishing. That's one thing. If he backs up and goes around it, that's another. You cannot allow a guy to split a trap. His 13th assist to the game. Roach and James staying right with him. Bomb of the ball screen. Ositkowski. Shaka Smart. He actually started in front of Trey right. Young. <laughs> because Shaka Smart wanted to have... Trey Young coming off the bench with his firepower and have more of a pass first guy to start just to move the ball with all those great players he had. Young cradles it. The pass deflected away here in Austin. Matt Coleman saying, give us all you got. Well, you might think that the priority is Trey Young right here, but the priority is to play the ball. Young turns it over. Young, another miss from beyond the arc. Points, four rebounds, four assists, two steals, and a, a very good job in the time that he was guarding Trey Young. Coleman and Roach have combined. Yeah, Texas shot 52% in the second half after a 40% first half. Three guys.